in social media topics then talking to them bringing our point and drawing lessons to improve collective humanity especially in the nigerian social media space well because this is the first edition i would only be showing up two stories that happened in the past few days on social media one of them is the story of a woman that was caught by cctv stealing bag in the church she was caught stealing and then she was handed to the police well what are we going to draw from this but before then let me let you see the video itself all right having seen the video i want to say that um, what are we what is the point from here number one is that it is now very important for all of us to start taking responsibilities if you run a church you just saw that example if you have a place or a business place where the crowd usually gathers it behooves of you to install security gadgets if you run even as small as photocopy making business center try to be responsible protect not only that place but also the people that come around with security gadgets security is never expensive as example we saw in that church if we always pray about problems because we think they are spiritual we will always leave them to a merciful god that church that happening in the church is a very clear example now if you leave it to the church or to say to god because you think it's a spiritual problem stealing is not spiritual theft is not spiritual it's a physical act it's a criminal act so churches must start being responsible because if we leave it to a merciful god don't forget god says as far as you confess jesus as a lord and savior you are saved and if you saved all things are also passed away including all those things that you have stolen you know but the owner of that stolen item doesn't know who stole it and has lost that thing forever now in this case sometimes it might not even be bag it might not be sandal it might not be cell phone it might not be a computer it might be even children children just go missing sometimes and you begin to wonder how and then instead of leaving it to many things we could suspect you know instead of suspecting different things some people will suspect variously as even saying oh there was heavy rain uh two days or three days ago there was heavy flooding could it have been that that kid was you know taking all that goat or that dog or that your pet that you love so much you know was taken in that flood no there is something called precision you know targeting which cctv does it will tell us instead of speculating or suspecting variously what exactly went down and this also goes to government our government must start also being responsible install cctv everywhere the cases we hear of kidnappers this and that bado kidnappers you know if there is cctv we will not need to rely on embellishments or stories of some persons who said they said and all that we will be able to help the cause of justice we should take advantage of technological innovation such as the cctv here so that is as far as the first story is concerned the lesson we can draw from that is human has also improved with technology we must stop living in the past start taking advantage of technological innovations and then to the second story that i have today is the story of the musical video new one that has just been shot by idris abdul karim idris abdul karim shot a new video where he was uh, uh criticized criticizing i beg your pardon the federal minister of 
in, on information coach on tourism alajilai mohammed about jollof rice you know and then well a lot of people have uh, criticized this already but i think it just decided to minister his own profession into it by making a song but that is not the story the story here is that idris abdul kareem made that song that video uploaded it to youtube it's over a week now but that music that song has less than 60,000 views so far this is unlike musical videos lately allow me this woo for instance in about a week already had more than 1 million views what does this mean it simply means that even though idris abdul Kari's song has message embedded in it nigerians would not watch it so it will not even trend those that have seen it are refused to share unlike olamide's song that trended so much why because number one the loss at the time isn't favoring people uh you know stations hearing videos that are critical of government number two we might also want to think about the personality behind the song is the personality still trending does the person matter at this time is it an old person i also remember two faces song holy holy yeah, hope you only pass elijah shah hope you only pass the prophet shah it didn't as much as even make a wave like love songs he had been doing you know the personality matters the kind of message also matters and that brings me to the point for that idris nigerians do not like to be reminded of their problems they want something or somebody coming to tell them don't worry the problem will solve itself or the problem is solved you just come and dance away your sorrow even though after dancing after drinking after pepper souping you're coming back to that problem and that is why churches will sell you know because they, they they bring the promise of don't worry your problem is solved god has solved your problems so people would love to go there the same thing pepper souping going to the bar drinking binge pepper souping safari comedy and entertainment shows making people happy and forget about their problems those things sell because nigerians do not like to be reminded of their problems so anything that reminds nigerians of their problems they just kick it somewhere aside oh okay okay okay, okay. i've seen it go next and then they begin to dance at the one that tells them the problem is solved even though they know that after dancing they will come back to me that it only takes a minority few or microscopic few apologies to a buyer who would occasionally say oh that problem is still there we are still having this or that problem you know and that reminds me olamide song is now being even you know rendered in church <laughs> It begins with something like Jojo, Jojo, Jesus, Jojo, Jojo, Jesus. Tobashi, pay me the one you are doing, and then you then suddenly transit into Oh yeah, Jobiolo, Oh yeah, Jobiolo. You know, Nigerians love to be told that the problem will solve itself, and that is why music like that would sell in this contemporary Nigeria that we have today. So that is as far as, like I said, it's going to be a brief edition because it's the first. So I would like to hear from you. Uh, please comment, share. If you like, trend it. If you like, do it like uh, Idris Abdul Karim song. Leave it, dump it. You know. But I would like to see it trend actually, so that people can learn. Let's engage. I like to hear your comments. Let me see your feedback. I like to read from you. I like to see you also share it if it makes meaning to you. And then the best way to keep up because this will not be coming regularly from me is to subscribe to this channel at objective media on youtube subscribe on youtube to objective media and then also follow us on social media instagram facebook and twitter at objective media my name once again is shagmolo until i come your way again please don't stop talking about things that matter to you thank you for watching